Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today and happy 4th of July. If you are watching this on July 4th, I'm coming on with the project share from Scrap Diva Designs. I am guest designing for Erica for the month of July. So I thought I'd come on today and um, show you a project that I worked on to celebrate the 4th of July. And I use this die set and this is called the American Flag Butterfly Straw Topper. It comes with these three different pieces and it comes to Together so quick to make the cutest little straw toppers. You can use them for other things as well. Um, there are some examples on the website and I will link that down below so you could see them. But I did create some 4th of July straw toppers to show you. Um, if you would like to order this, I will link the product down below. If you use my referral link to get onto the website and order, I do get a commission, which doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me and my channel. And there's there's also a coupon code uh, that is strawberry cream and if you enter that at checkout you'll get 10% off of your purchase of $10 or more. So let me show you the die set on, and I'll show you the uh, projects that I made and then we'll make a quick one together because it comes together so quickly. Okay, so this is the die set and it comes with three different pieces. This is the, um, the background die and this cuts out a little like slit to put the straw through. And then the next piece cuts out, um, one half of it cuts out stripes and the other one stars. And then there's a layering piece for the stars as well. So it's really, really cute and dimensional and you can embellish it any way you want. So let me show you the ones that I made. So these are the ones that I created and, and they came together so quickly, you guys. Um, I used a variety of red, white, and blue papers to create the, um, the straw toppers and I used some gold straws that I got. I think these were from the Dollar Tree. I have so many straws in my draw drawer so I'm not exactly sure where they came from but um, that's what I used and then I cut out a little die cut heart from a, a die in my stash and then added buttons with some gold thread peeking through it. And yeah, it's very simple to make. And if you, you can make a whole bunch of these and put them out for like a patriotic party, either 4th of July or any time in the summer. I keep my patriotic decor up from Memorial Day until Labor Day. So, um, you know, anytime you have a barbecue in the summer, these would be really cute to put out with like beverages. And um, yeah, it's they're just really cute. You could even put them on like, um, like uh, skewers or toothpicks or whatever you want to put them on to decorate your food. So I made these four and then I thought we'd make one together. So the pieces that cut out, like I said, there's the base piece and I cut that one out of some white glitter paper and this I get at Walmart. See how it cuts the slits there to create a slot for your straw to go through. And then the layer with the stars and the stripes, I use some red gingham on this one. Again, it cuts out the slits for your straw to go through. And then I cut this one out of like a popsicle paper for the star layer. And then for the embellishment, I cut out a just a little heart from a die I had in my stash and I got a navy blue button and then just um, strung some gold thread through there and hot glued it all together. And I just did that ahead of time so um, it would go a little faster. But let me show you how easily this comes together. And I have another one of the gold straws from the Dollar Tree. So what I do is I take the background piece and um, you want to just kind of bend this a little bit and if you can see I don't know if you can but there's like a, a line that's embossed in the middle there I don't think you can see that but it makes it really easy to bend so you can get the straw through there and what I do is I take like just I have this like um, embossing tool and I just kind of poke that through and then just kind of pull it so it makes the um, hole a little bit bigger for the straw to go through. And then I do the same thing with the next layer. And this is the one with the stars and the stripes. And I take my embossing tool and put it through both slits and just kind of pull it up. And as you can see, it bends at that embossing line that comes from the die set and it makes a space for the straw to go through. And then I just kind of put that on top of the background layer. And as you can see, it creates a gap. And again, I'll put my 
tool through there so you could see it a little bit more. And then you take your straw and put it through the first slit through both the glitter paper and the gingham paper. And it just takes a little bit of wiggling. Sometimes you might need to take your tool or, you know, whatever you're using. It could be something like this, or it could be just even a pen or whatever, just to make that space a little bit wider, depending on what kind of straw you're using. And then get that straw through the first level, and then bring it up through the second one. And just be careful you don't rip it and slide it down so it looks like that and then you could put this you could put this um, star layer on beforehand if you wanted to I usually just glue it on after I don't know why I just that's what I do so I like to leave it a little bit dimensional so I'm going to take my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and just add glue to the um, just very inside of the of this level and it's clogged so I got to get a pin out and unclog it. Of course this happens when making a video. Okay so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just to those parts right there. I just like it to be so you know the different layers of the butterfly are movable and then I'm just going to put it in there and just line up a few of those stars and press it down. And then you have a really cute butterfly American flag embellishment for your straw. And then you can go ahead and embellish this any way you want. I really like to glue embellishments onto this little part here. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I made this ahead of time. So I, I have my hot glue gun. So you can either add the hot glue to the button piece itself or to the part on the straw. I'm just gonna add it right there just a little dab of glue and then take my little button embellishment and press it on there just hold it until it's set just takes a second or two and there we go we have another one so you can get those glue strands off you can just fluff this up a little bit so the different layers are separated the blue one's a little bit wet still, so I'll just be gentle with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this to our little bucket. And the bucket, I think I got in a Target um, in their party supply section. And I put some floral foam in there, which I bent a little bit, but that's okay. And um, add it to my little collection of butterfly straws. So how cute does that look? And wouldn't that be nice like on a buffet or, you know, next to your drink bar or a lemonade or something for a festive party? And again, you could do this. It doesn't have to be patriotic. You could do gold and silver or, you know, whatever you want. It, it, would, it would look nice in any color combination. I mean, it's got the stars and the stripes, so it, it lends itself perfectly to a patriotic theme, which I think is really, really pretty. And like I showed you, it comes together so quickly that you can make a whole bunch of them for your any of your summer gatherings. So thank you so much for joining me today for this quick little project share. Um, I will link this die set down below. It is currently on sale at Scrap Diva Designs. And um, again, don't forget to use my referral link and my coupon code. So I will be back soon with more crafty videos. Happy summer, happy 4th of July, and thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.